Hi guys, I am Peter Tran, representing the Dev Samurai team, brought to you by Agile Test, comprehensive test management for Jira. It is our pleasure to introduce you to Agile Test Academy. Agile Test Academy is a video series that will teach you everything you need to learn about software development, specifically Agile development. Agile is a more than flexible way of creating software that delivers value to customers faster and with higher quality. And whether you are a beginner or an expert, Agile Test Academy will help you master Agile. Join us today in your Agile journey with Agile Test Academy. Today, we will learn about software development processes and its pros and cons in real-life implementation. Today, we will be talking about processes of software development, HAL methodologies, iterative refinement, spiral model, waterfall model, agile development, and finally, which software process should we choose. Firstly, we will learn about the HAL methodologies, shortened for heavyweight and lightweight. It's when the development team works through steps slowly and systematically with aim of fully completing each step and developing a complete software product that only requires minimal changes and revision. For example, spiral, incremental development, and waterfall model. Lightweight method is when the development team releases working software in small increments and develops the plan incrementally. Each increment includes all process steps and there is an expectation that changes will be made based on the team's experiences, for example, Agile development and Scrum. The main differences between heavyweight and lightweight methods that are heavyweight uses a sequential and rigid approach while lightweight uses a parallel and flexible approach. Heavyweight methodologies are suitable for large and stable systems, while lightweight are suitable for small and dynamic systems. Dealing with clients, heavyweight negotiates with them and follows the plan, while lightweight methods collaborate with clients and respond to change, giving it certain flexibility when it comes to software development. Iterative Refinement Iterative refinement is a process of developing a program or a product by starting with a simplified version of a problem and adding details and functionalities bit by bit. In a project, we can start by creating the prototype system early in the development process via design and implementation of the design, then review the prototype with clients and test with users based on the requirements, and we refine the prototype in a series of iterations until the final product is released. There are various techniques used in iterative refinement, user interface mockup, throwaway software components, dummy modules, rapid prototyping, successive refinement. There Iterative refinement is neither heavyweight or lightweight methodology. It is a general principle that can be applied to different methods, so-called a medium-weight process. Iterative refinement can fix a problem or create something new quickly, but that process will not be released since it has to follow up steps of iterations. Furthermore, mistakes made in the requirement step are the most expensive and costly to the company and the development team. Now, this is a subcategory of iterative refinement called incremental development. It is a type of iterative development, but not all iterative development is incremental. So, incremental development is a process of software development where requirements are broken down into multiple standalone modules of the development cycle. Each module goes through analysis, design, implementation, testing, and maintenance phases, and each successive version of the product is usable and adds user-visible functionality to the previous version. It is easier for small teams to develop small sprints correctly than to collaborate on large projects with many ramifications. Although the project investment will pay back very soon, any change to the requirement may be costly to the company. In developing subsequent sprints, requirements should be understood clearly to minimize waste, but it is difficult to change an existing system. And for the pros, feedbacks from customers and clients can be incorporated in later phases, but as each increment is added to the system, a high number of errors are produced. Spiral Model 
Spiral model is a risk-driven software development model that combines elements of both the iterative and the waterfall models that we will talk about later. It is a complex and flexible approach that tackles high-risk, complex projects by identifying and managing the risk early and continuously. For the model illustration, I will create it by using an app called Mocky for Jira. For those who are in the Jira ecosystem, Mocky can be used in Confluence also. The base system is firstly created that has overall structures of the final product with dummy stubs for missing components. The development team creates a comprehensive set of test cases for all completed compounds. For the new or improved components, a succession of sprints is developed, each with a set of test cases. For the new or improved The succession of sprints will be repeated every day. Spiral development is widely used to develop new versions of large systems. Spiral model is a heavyweight process due to its characteristics. Large components can be developed and tested separately, but it is difficult to make changes to the architecture. Spiral model is good for setting up comprehensive set of automated tests, but small changes will affect many components. Waterfall model Waterfall model is a heavyweight process with full documentation of each process step. In practice, each stage in the process reveals new understanding of the previous stages, so it requires an early stage to be revised. Furthermore, the development team cannot create a proposed budget and schedule without a preliminary study of the requirements and tentative design. In reality, the waterfall model has many problems, so it is rarely used in practice. It provides process visibility, quality control, and cost monitoring at each step, but it is not flexible enough. Detailed design and implementation reveal gaps in requirements specification, so the requirements may be modified during the project development. Agile Development Agile development is a lightweight process with minimal documentation created during the process. It is based on the Agile Manifesto, a set of principles for software development that prioritize working software, customer feedbacks, and responding to change. For the model illustration, I also created using the app called Mocky for Jira. For those who are in the Jira ecosystem, Mocky can also be used in Confluence. The development of the project is divided into a large number of sprints. Each sprint ends with fully tested code. After each sprint, the code may be released, original Agile method combined with code from other sprints for subsequent release, and incorporated into a larger code base.
Agile development is excellent for continual enhancement of a system within the established architecture. The development team wastes less resources since the work is always up to date and better adapt to any change. Furthermore, Agile development provides high quality software solutions faster. Besides that, Agile development still has minor disadvantages such as high level teams must establish overall architecture and coordinate the sprints. Applying this methodology may lack predictability since Agile depends heavily on flexibility and adaptability. We now move on how to know which software process is suitable for your project or your team. If the requirements are poorly understood or expected to change, use iterative refinement at your sprint and phase implementation. If the big software system has many interrelated components and avoid major change to the design of a system during development, you should use sequential process which is a modified version of waterfall model. If the market for the software is poorly understood, use the incremental and agile sprint that gets operational software in front of the customer as soon as possible. So, going through all these software developments, we see that each process has pros and cons, and it is up to the users and your team members to decide which one to use. But we choose the agile approach because it adapts quickly to the changing requirements and customer needs continuous improvement of the product through feedbacks and iteration, better teamwork and collaboration among cross-functional teams, reduce risks of failure and waste, last but not least, provides relevant metrics and indicators of progress and product quality. Now, that is the end of our video. Thank you for listening, and we hope that you learned a thing or two about the software development processes and why we would choose Agile development for our projects. This is day one of our Agile Test Academy series, brought to you by the Dev Samurai team. Via our app Agile Test and Comprehensive Test Management for Jira, we would also like to give credits to Maki, draw wireframes, mockup, prototype, and diagrams for Jira and Confluence for helping with the diagram illustration. Both apps are available for download on Atlassian Marketplace, link in the description. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Thank you.